everyone welcome to my channel my name is Ashley Morgan welcome so I have two apples that I purchased from the grocery store I don't know why I purchased them because I am not an apple girly I remember around two to three years ago um, the first time I ever made a cinnamon roll I came up with a sweet potato pie cinnamon roll and it came out really good and I use milk bread as my base and so today that's what we're gonna do what we're gonna use apple pie filling instead so let's get into it in this bowl I have all my dry ingredients all the information will be listed down below in the description bar I'm gonna go ahead and add in all the wet ingredients mixing until the dough forms once the dough is formed we're gonna go ahead and knead it for about 10 to 15 minutes we're gonna go ahead and place that in a bowl and cover it with a damp towel now this dough is still gonna be very sticky so just be mindful of that I've already peeled and cored my apples they're turning brown but it doesn't matter because when I cook them they're all gonna be kind of brownish I am peeling my apples first cut my apple in half and then I just use a measuring spoon to core it out and the core is removed In this pan, we're gonna go ahead and add our apples, apple pie spice, brown sugar, as well as some lemon juice. I make my own apple pie spice, which you can buy at any local grocery store. Spice is just allspice, cinnamon, and nutmeg. Then we're gonna make our cream cheese frosting. We're gonna go ahead and add some cream cheese to the bowl. Add powdered sugar, vanilla, and a little bit of milk. Whisk that together until nice and smooth and set that aside. Hello, welcome back. <laughs> I did not like the way that those rolls came out the first time. And so, what I did like, I love the way that the apple mixture came out, but I didn't have enough apples. I also love the way that the dough came out, it was nice and fluffy, but the way that I instructed it was too thick. And so I'm gonna actually make six instead of four. I saw this girl make cinnamon rolls on Pinterest. I should have saved it so I can tag it in here. If I can find the video, I'll put it somewhere in here or put it in the description bar down below. But what she did was she made a cinnamon sugar whipped butter and she puts them on the base so i'm gonna do the whip for the apple pie butter whip we're gonna take one stick of butter add some brown sugar as well as some apple pie spice and some vanilla whisk that together again all the information will be down below in the description bar so the way that the young lady did it was she adds some to the bottom then she also used some in between the dough i would omit putting it on the bottom because it just became a little bit too much and i had to remove a lot of it and i ended up making a caramel with it you'll see at the end of the video what i'm talking about if i needed a lesson on how to chill out this was one of them i was losing my mind anyway so what we're doing right here is I rolled out the dough. I don't think it's necessary for me to actually make a video on how to roll dough out, but if you do need it, let me know. So what you see me doing here is spreading the whipped mixture out and leaving about two inches so that when I roll the dough, it doesn't stick. I'm also gonna cut this into slices now. You don't have to do this, but I'm being very meticulous because I have a vision in my head. And you know, when you have a vision in your head, you just kind of see it through. So basically what's happening here, I'm cutting it into slices and I am strategically going to place every single apple on this so that when I roll it, it looks like a small little cinnamon roll flower. Cute, right? I'm such a girl. See what I mean? You see the vision? So I'm just gonna roll it ever so slightly so that the apples don't fall out. And do you see the rosette? Yes, that's what we want. How cute is that? Love that for me. And so we're gonna do this to each and every one and roll them up nice, not too tight, but just right. And then just place them inside here. Again, please do not spread that butter mixture on the bottom. It's so unnecessary because there's so much of that mixture inside of this dough already um so i did add some almond milk to the top of this could do the heavy cream though i would suggest that but i didn't have any heavy cream so i'm gonna let this rise for about 30 minutes and then we're gonna go ahead and place these in the oven delicioso also... hold on let's get closer baby come closer you see how i picked this up you see how ooey and gooey that is on the side <laughs> that's gonna be fire two things so these came out really good however i did have too much liquid um and so what i did was i salvaged it and i actually made a caramel with it or caramel and i just put the mixture into a pan and just cooked it until it was a little thicker and then i took it out the stove i actually had a scoop of ice cream with it Chef's kiss. And that's all she wrote. I hope that you all get the opportunity to try this recipe out. It was really fun recreating it. Don't forget to thumbs up this video and subscribe. And please let me know down below what you would like to see next. Thank you guys for watching. Have an awesome day. Bye.